What's going on guys? Welcome back to Real Michigander. My name is John and uh, well I guess we're doing another painting video. Hoping the weather gets a little nicer and we can do some real fishing but I thought I'd try something new today. We're gonna try to do something a little more realistic. So we're gonna do a bass pattern. Again this is a 2.5 square bill. I got the white base coat. And I've got pearlized white by Kratex loaded up in the gun, ready to go. So uh, let's get started. With this white, I'm just going to hit the belly of this bait. Adjust the pressure a little bit. So we're going to flip it around and we're going to hit just that belly. I'm going to go up the sides a little bit, kind of blend it in, uh, get that adjusted. Give this thing a real nice underbelly. This chin. I'll turn up that pressure a little bit. This Kratex paint's a little thick, so. Sometimes you gotta run a little higher or thin it out. So. That should be good. We're gonna quick heat set that using our hair dryer. All right, so next we're gonna clean out our brush and we're gonna load up a custom color that I made I wanted a little bit of a darker green than I had, so I mixed up, I bought these little containers. Let's see if I can get it better. These little empty containers at Hobby Lobby, and I just put some green and uh, some dark brown to make a little darker green for the, the back of this bait. All right, so now that I got my brush cleaned out, once again, we're using this custom color. I mixed using the dark brown by Kratex and this uh, this bright green. I haven't sprayed it yet. I don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but we'll uh, we'll see here. So I'll put a couple drops in the gun. It's almost a forest green. So. Uh, with this, we're going to come right down the back. And remember with these transparent paints, the, the more layers you do, the, uh, the darker, more true to that color it's going to be. I'm coming right down the side. You want to come down to about the midway point of the bait. And like this bait's already got like a scale pattern to it, so rotating it around to make sure you get that real nice color is something you'll have to do. Getting the back of that gill. 
completely off camera now. Kind of hard working in a cramped space, but pretty soon I'll have a, a paint booth set up in the garage. So I will have all the room in the world and start working in a little a little cardboard box. Right now I'm at my computer desk. Uh, I've been filming in the kitchen or wherever I can find room. Color is looking pretty good. I like it. Looks pretty, pretty even on both sides. Might come down a little bit further on this other side here. And then uh, we're gonna get this chin. So now we're starting to get get that nice line where she's starting to look like a bass. So we're going to rinse the brush again. I heat set it. I changed the color, cleaned out the brush. We're now going to throw a little bit of the dark brown into the into the airbrush and uh we're going to use a stencil that I made. We're going to go real light. So, the way I made this stencil is I just took an index card, I traced out one of the baits, and then drew the pattern on it that I wanted, and then, uh, well, then I just uh, cut it out with a crafting knife. So let's see if we can't get this thing to work. It's a little bit smaller than that big stencil that I had bought, so hopefully we can get this thing to do what we want it to do. And this is just for a, a pattern on the back. And like I said, this stuff, we're all still beginners, so, uh, the more we learn, the, the better these baits are going to start to look. That's really cool. I like that. Go a little bit darker, though, I think. See if I can get this re-lined up to where we were. There we go. We're going to... Try and do the same on the opposite side, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stencil and flip it around, and I have no idea how long these little card stencils will last. It might only last one bait, but index cards are cheap, and these are real easy to easy to make. Fade around. Sometimes I wish I had more than two hands. Just 
Try and hold this a little bit better. It's the hardest thing. I've uh, had to do. I haven't quite mastered the whole where I'm going to hold this stencil. Come up a little bit more on the tail. Back. That side doesn't look as good. I know it's going to be a little more tricky being that it's the other side. But now we're going to come right down the black, back, not black, back with the brown. Come down the sides just a little bit, just to kind of dull down that that green. You know this layering technique that I'm trying to get down is really where you get the more realistic colors from. So, I'll be doing more practicing with that. Creating the colors and the patterns that you want just by, you know, what colors go under where and All right, that looks that looks pretty good. I do like that. So, uh now we're going to come through it and we're going to hit that, that black stripe down the side that bass have. So I'm going to clean out my brush and then uh, we'll load up the black paint. Alrighty, like I said, we'll be loading up opaque black. All right, so same thing. I uh, made my own stencil, and we're gonna lay out the uh, the black. Might try. I'm gonna turn them on its side. Kind of let the weight of this clip pull it down. Maybe right about there. Make sure you get a real good coat because you want it to look real nice. I like that. So then, once again, we're going to rotate the, the bait around. And I'm going to Flip this around.
And now we got the stripes on the other side. And then I really like doing around the eyes just a little bit. All right, guys, there we go. Um, there, now it's focused. I'm going to throw some uh, throw some eyes in it, and my clear coat should be here this week, so we'll be doing a video, and we'll clear coat uh, the lures that we've painted so far. Get those dried. Then we'll get some hooks on them, and uh, we'll get out on the lake. I'm going to, like I said, get the eyes in it. I'll take a real nice picture for the uh the thumbnail and uh i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching